Welcome back to Good and Crazy News, everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? In the name of Martin Lawrence, y'all, guess what? Oh, man. Guess what? It's been a wonderful weekend. The 4th of July was great. Place some flags out in the comments, Hockey Nation. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Guess what? I haven't gotten anybody to put a flag for winning from you in the comment section yet. <laughs> one person, just one person out of the possible 60 views I'm going to get from this video. Yeah. Can one person put a flag down there? Even man? someone from Hater Nation. Yeah. So instead of Hockey Nation, Hater Nation. I mean, you can, listen, somebody, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> can I get can I get one comment down there and one flag? I know people are watching the show, but guess what? I'm desperate, and I promise you, if you put your flag down there, I'm gonna put one of those little red hearts next to it so you know I see it. Okay? Because I'm gonna be watching. And guess what? Y'all can follow me on Instagram. Not Instagram. I am Aki Leach Realtor on Twitter. So just to let y'all know that. Oh my God. Guess what I got with me today, y'all? My special producer friend. He's a graphic designer, a business owner, and he's also my friend. Phil Inman is in the house, y'all. What's up, Phil? He's back again. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? Look, now don't be trying to read. I know y'all gonna try to read me because my hair is not cut today. But that's ATL Swap My Barber. So shout out to ATL. Uh, I don't know where you at, but I need my hair cut tomorrow. ASAP. Oh my God. How was your 4th of July, Phil? Oh, you know it was okay. It was all right. I, my night was real relaxing. I just, uh, you know, did my, did my, uh, my distinguished gentleman thing and had cigars and and uh, just relax. Yeah, I got this for that. Yeah, my uh, my uh, my uh, my neighborhood was weak sauce though when it came to the fireworks stuff. So we'd be dropping off report cards to all the douchebags in the neighborhood that tried popping off fireworks and they were whack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna drop look, off look, report they had D minus. <laughs> <laughs> look, did they have the one that you're four, don't try it next year. <laughs> You know the ones that go to the air, but they don't have no explosions. Yeah. Just a, like, yeah. And then there's nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, just gonna. Yo, be the people behind us was lit. So yeah. It was lit back That's then. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it was get, lit. You can put out a show, put out a show. Right? Yeah, it was. They had it going on back then. I mean, it was popular for real. I mean, you know, San Antonio goes hard. You can only afford Roman candles, man. It's just the, so the, one of those things that go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but San Antonio gets lit every time, any time fireworks is involved. I mean, the whole city. In general, yeah, man. Yeah. They like blowing up shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every look, oh, yeah. you know what, there's just as, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll venture to say there are more of those firework places than McDonald's in San Antonio. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they just start popping up everywhere. Yeah. yeah like Mexican yeah. restaurants. So, for, like, for sure. Oh, shit, I didn't know there was a firework place there. Uh. So it's like, Oh my God, y'all, let's get into it again. Oh Lord, y'all. Yeah, I know, it, it's almost like I can't even talk about this stuff anymore. It's just happening so often, often, often. A deadly 4th of July parade shots and then a frantic rush to escape. You know what, sometimes the people who write this, I said this before, like somebody's retarded write me. There was seven people now killed in an Illinois uh, parade yesterday, a guy just got on top of a roof and shot like 70 something shots. Shot, I think he uh, hit 23 people, seven died. I mean, come on. Then they tried to turn this into being about Dave Shapiro. Dave Shapiro and his wife bought their two young kids to enjoy Independence Day parade in their hometown of Newark, Chicago. Snagging a spot in front of the uh, boutique winery went bang! Shit just started popping off out of nowhere. It, I mean, th this is happening in elite neighborhoods now. You know, that area of Chicago, that's an elite neighborhood. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point. You don't know who, you don't know who the next person is that's going to go crazy and start trying to kill people. You have no idea. It's one of the weaknesses. That's why I've had that conversation online. I don't, I don't usually comment online and give people 
any kind of, of any kind of portion of my time because I think you know in general I'm just wasting time on stupid people. But I mean, in general, it's like it's the weakness of us not knowing the next crazy person and not being able to stop them that makes us so upset. That's that's the that's what that's the problem in America. And you know, this guy apparently and you can't was, blame anyone or anything. Well, well, the guy well, apparently was planning this for weeks. He had all of these animations and stuff online of him actually committing the crimes. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, if Google and all these motherfuckers in Cambridge Analytica can know everything that I'm doing all the time, why can't they say, hey, somebody's over here is a, uh, they did three assassination type videos in a row. Excuse me. Might want to go knock on this fool's house. But even 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 if they could do that, and even if they knew that, the whole point is, especially you know, that's the whole argument with the Patriot Act. The whole point is, we you can't do anything ahead of time about it because about those, any crime, yeah, really. because those are the freedoms that we we're supposed to be giving people. You know, the whole point is, is like we can't do anything about it. So you can't go knocking on the guy's front door and go, hey, you know, we think you're a Looney Tune. We, you know, we're, we're going to take you in for some evaluation. Well, they actually do do that already with, with no-knock warrants and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of already like that. Well, yeah, well, that's for people that are already crazy, though, or already in the system and stuff. But you can't do that with people that have no violations and have no reason to be suspected for anything. You can't just do that, you know what I mean? Yeah, this, this is a bugged-out, crazy-ass story, and I agree with you, Phil, but yeah, you know what? I'm ready to let this go because I'm tired of all this gun shit. I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. It's to the point where I don't even... They just shot a guy 63 times yesterday. Another person. 63 times they shot him. I'm like, you don't have to shoot anybody 63 times. And then three cops got murdered got killed in line of duty the other day. It, it's going crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, something happened, in, something happened locally here in Texas. It was uh, something. But you know what? We're going to move on from this. This yeah, is a yeah. stupid, crazy story. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have some good and good and good. Huh? Well, R. Kelly's going to jail for 30 years. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good for the little girls. You don't like getting pee pee down. Okay, listen. Yeah. R. Kelly, they, uh, they, they say that he's, had, uh, he's, the, he's not on suicide watch anymore because he had some kind of legal uh, victory. Just won a mini legal battle against the feds who just did an about face and took the disgraced singer off suicide watch after he filed a lawsuit against the prison, TMZ has learned. In a new file court document obtained by TMZ Metropolitan Detention Center Warden Hiberto Teldes, who was named in the suit, says he made the decision today to remove R. Kelly from suicide watch following a clinical assessment. Now, you know what? Them having him on suicide watch basically means that he's in the cell by himself 24-7, right? Um, yeah, they put him, they put you in a cell twenty four seven. And they put just a um, a single um, piece of cloth on your body, um, and then they only give you a, a certain type of blanket. Um, so you're you're limited on everything um, because it's so that you can't you can't rip the blanket up and uh, hang yourself with it and do all kinds of stuff like that. So it's um, wasn't pretty, Jeffrey Epstein on suicide watch? Pretty too? specific. No, he, he, he managed to kill himself. No, that they said he should have been. That's why. Oh. That's why it was a big thing. Like he should have been. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. All right, Kelly, stop trying to do stuff. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to drop the end bomb. Quit buying lawsuits against the state and stuff. Save that money for your commissary. Uh, for you real, know? cause you ain't getting out yeah. until you eighty three. Yeah, you better yeah, look. I was home. Kelly got more cases coming up too. Like in other right. states, I'm like, dude, it ain't over. You need some more legal action. Right. <laughs> Kelly, boy, you need to stop. Okay, this is a good story for all the little girls in Chicago from all over the world that their parents think their daughter's gonna be a star, and they drag them to little R. Kelly's house so he can do the same stuff to them that he's been doing all along. And guess what? It ain't never been no secret that R. Kelly was doing this. We've been doing this for years. Uh, yeah. And he I got mean, off. I he mean, got man. off before. I mean, he, that's what I'm saying. It's like, dude, you already got, you escaped one time. And then you started back doing it again. <laughs> like, at least, the, like, like, 
R. Kelly's videos came out, at least Michael Jackson's videos didn't come out. You know what I mean? Well, okay, you were we're watching gonna leave, those. We're, we're going to leave Michael alone because uh, he's uh, not here to defend uh, himself. That's uh, blasphemy. Well, okay. neither is R. Kelly. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm just saying either. we watched R. Kelly but, being on Jackson. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we never seen that with Michael Jackson. That's right. Bye, R. Kelly. <laughs> Y'all, the only reason why I'm talking about this is because, you know, this guy who plays Thor, oh my god. They said, okay, uh, the last full Thor movie uh, was the Overst uh, overstuffed 2017 Thor, uh, I, I don't know what the name right, right, is, because guess what, I ain't watched none of these movies. Only reason why I'm interested in this story is because I was watching this entertainment tonight, and it was like, oh, he went from looking like this to this in like four months. And I'm like, oh my god, like, how did he go from looking like me to looking like Thor in four months? <laughs> like, how, what kind of Hollywood tricks is going on here? Like, is there any type of way a guy could work out to, to feel going from looking like this to that in four months? Uh, I, don't, I don't see it happening. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I know it happened. It had to happen because he, he looks like amazing. They said he got so big that when they put the uniform on him, the outfit, that he that his hands went to sleep because it was too tight. So they had to make him lose a little bit of uh, bulk because his uh, what did he call your forearms? His forearms. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> I was looking for the musculature term for it, not the uh, not the layman term. Anyway, his this part, his forms were so big that they it couldn't fit in the, in the outfit that he wore already. So he had to lose weight. But I don't know what this man name is that played Thor. What's his name? And he's supposed to be falling in love in this one. What's his name? His name is not even on here. That's what I'm saying. I, I, you talk, you're talking about the one that actually played him? Was yes, the, Thor. That, I mean, he's pretty famous. That's That's... I know, and I don't know his name. That's a damn shame name. I know, right? I just thought, I mean, my the big I thought, I mean, I thought you were talking about everyone's been ragging on uh, my homegirl who who I love to death still to this day. Um I yeah, still I still marry her, drop Who's that? Her, drop a dime, I marry her. Um uh, Natalie Portman. Oh, so she's she, in it. She, she well no, but yeah, she's not she's not only in the 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 new Thor, she is a female Thor. She's oh, the word? Guy. So, so she gonna be kicking ass yeah, too? Yeah, exactly. So watch out, Wonder Woman, because you got some competition. Oh, you think it should be a Wonder Woman versus her movie? Ooh, that would be so good. And what if they fell in love? <laughs> well, the thing is that Thor's supposed to be falling in love <laughs> in this movie uh, with his side piece or side counterpart or whatever. Anyway, that's a good story. Uh, go see the Thor movie. Mm -hmm. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Everybody out there, especially the men, listen. Y'all need to go get y'all guts checked out. Because y'all see how I be burping up here sometimes? That's because I have, like, I don't know what I have. I'm in the process of going to see the doctor right now about it. I have this home testing I'm supposed to take that I haven't done yet uh, to check on my gut or whatever. And uh, Bill and I went to lunch the other day, and I told him about drinking tea before your meal to help out with your digestion and stuff like that. And it does work for me a little, but you know what, guys? I'm seriously, get a probiotic and go get your gut check because it's very important. What do you think about that, Phil? I mean, I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean, it's important. I mean, I have a terrible stomach from the military, so I don't really, you know, it is what it is. I, I just live with it, you know. Take yeah. the highest dose of meds I can take and just deal with it. I mean, but. Yeah, it's important. It's very important, guys. Go get your gut check! Yeah, guess what? Why is that? So, <laughs> good, good job. Good job. Mental. Yeah. Mental. Why is this um, story in the oddity section of the AP? You know, everything that I'm interested in always be in the oddity section. Anyway, Coney Island's Luna Park is to expand to introduce three new attractions. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up and witness Coney Island in Luna Park like you've never seen it before. The beachfront tourist destination will soon introduce three new attractions and pedestrian plazas on several acres along the iconic Coney Island New York boardwalk as a part of Luna Park's expansion. Coney Island 
uh, being this great, rich place with so much legacy and emotion and memories for all, not just for New Yorkers, but for Americans, is one of the best places in the world. One of the new three things that's coming is a roller coaster called Tony's Express, a log plume ride called Lady's Treasure, and two rides that are designed to pay homage to the classic 19th century Coney Island ride, as well as the Zamperla family, which has been involved in circuses, carnivals, and amusement parks for generations. You know what? I really love a log plume ride. Lady's Treasure, it's nice that they're going to bring something like that back. Because yeah. all the amusement parks are tearing down their log jamboree rides. You know, when you get down and you sit with your other family members and y'all sit in the thick seats in the middle, and it's a real tame ride, but the little kids get really excited and it ends with a splashdown at the end. Don't you love the long pool? Okay, no, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> but anyway, this is great news. If you love a music, well, yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for that uh, yeah. description because I was wondering what that was. But... You know what? I'll definitely go to, to New York to Coney Island just to check these out. Well, yeah, I mean, if, 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 if people don't know, uh, Aki's a uh, huge fan of uh, uh, roller coaster. I'm a coaster enthusiast. Yeah, he's And I'm not ashamed of it. See, I got my yeah. lightning rod cup right yeah. here. He's got his lightning rod cup, and I got my lightning rod. <laughs> <laughs> so. You love saying that, don't you? You well, just love saying that shit. That but guess what? This is a great story, you guys. Go to Coney uh, Island. It's the best place. And you know the Coney Island Cyclone is still there, and it's running better than ever. Yes. And it's still Island there. While we go to break. No. Guess what? When we come back from break, it's going to be time for Vans Gossip. And on that note, I think we got two commercials this week. And guess what? We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Wen, and uh, I support safe and responsible gun ownership. Please check out my store on Etsy. Just type in GK1TV and uh, check out my cool stuff. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to break. Y'all like my commercials? I know they're a little bit corny and whack right now, but you know, one of them is dope. The other one, you know what you need to do to fix it. Come on, let's fix that commercial. Let's get it right, because we got some free advertising going on over here for a little while at least. So while we try to build this audience, you know, you want to look good out here. Can't be out in these streets looking crazy. But guess what, y'all? It's time for our favorite segment, Men's Gossip. <laughs> y'all, you know, it's slow right now in Men's Gossip, child. So, you know, we got to try to get through this. Look, this is a good subject. Brittany Griner. She writes an open letter to Joe Biden. I guess when they say open letter, it means that everybody can read it or whatever. Basically, she said, help, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Biden's like, who's that? <laughs> Look, the, whoever's doing this charge to lead the charge to get her out, y'all doing a terrible job. Yeah, well, I don't think he was leading the charge to get her out. I mean, hold on. I mean, come on, y'all can be doing more than what y'all doing. Y'all need to get the whole NBA on y'all side. Y'all need to get the y'all need to get the whole lesbian community. Like y'all have an opportunity to have so many people behind this to get this girl out. And there it's like no one. there's no <laughs> one's there. Look, they keep putting her wife on TV. Look, they keep putting this woman's wife on TV to talk about this shit. And I'm like, nobody wants to hear lesbians' problems, especially yeah. rich lesbians, especially yeah. black rich lesbians' problems. Yeah. They don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. Brittany Griner is speaking to her, was speaking for herself for the first time in a long time when she's uh, been detained in Russia pending a trial. And, and, and her words are an emotional plea to President Biden. Excerpts from the letter sent to the White House this week on behalf of Griner were published Sunday through Reps for Greer, and it consists of bullet point thoughts uh, she expressed as she faces years behind bars for allegedly uh, bringing hash cartridges into the country. Now, look, you're supposed to know that. You going to Russia, you trying to leave the country with drugs in your pocket. I mean, now, 
granted, okay, I will give her this, I'll give her this one benefit of the doubt. Only one. And it's gonna be like, she had one of those, a vape machine. Like, who goes in somebody's vape machine? That's the only benefit I'm gonna give her. It's like, it was in a vape. So, I mean, they really had to be like, looking for it to be like, oh, wait a minute. It's a vape machine? Yeah, and kids, she had not only a vape machine, but she had a shit ton of cartridges. <laughs> <laughs> but she had cartridges? Yeah, there. she had, like, that's the whole point. She had a bunch of cartridges. So she was buying it in Russia. No, no, she would bring it. She was, she had it with her. Whether she bought it there in Russia, she was on her way home. Yeah, so she probably took it into Russia and had it with her because she probably was like, "Oh, I need my weed." And then, you know what? I need my THC. Then she had on a Black Lives Matter jacket or some shit like that when she was going through the airport. I'm like, girl, you don't know your audience, like where you at? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not going to Israel wearing no damn. Whatever I could do to offend them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not doing it. While carrying drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, girl. I mean, pretty quite okay, listen. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, girl, but listen, your PR team needs to be fired. No shit. They need to be fired. Yeah. And in the words of uh my favorite person, Funky Don Eva, Britney uh, Britney Grind people. Bring the crowd of people. <laughs> y'all need to do something about this. Yeah, listen, y'all not doing her a service, y'all doing her a disservice. Right? Hell yeah. I mean, they ain't doing nothing. It's like, I barely hear I, about the story. I, literally, like, I've heard, like, literally, from, from everything I see about her, no one gives a shit. They don't, unfortunately. Like, literally, no one gives a shit. Because like, she's a lesbian. She's black. It, they don't like that shit. And she has a nerve to have a wife and be a millionaire. You know, it's like, dude, come on. They don't That's like rough. this shit. It yeah. is rough. Brittany Griner, though, I do wish you come on. I heard that they try to trade somebody for you. That's so funny because she's yeah, like, well, well, wait, Russia, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Russia wants a, uh, they want a high-powered motherfucking prisoner for her. They want an arm, a, a, a really famous army. Yeah. D don't come in here, whoever that is. Because uh, there's, there's wires right there. I don't want you to trip over them. <laughs> so look. Uh, yeah. So this is really bummed out. It's like, girl, I feel sorry for you. She's on the thing. She's on the, in the letter saying like, oh, I don't want to be trapped here for 10 years. I think it, uh, girl. I think because guess what? Even when they release people to bring over here that they traded with. Excuse me. I hate to say it, but they be looking crazy as hell when they go back. <laughs> and they usually die within like five or six months after yeah, getting that exactly. out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like... They don't let you go back over here and look at No, they don't. They be like, oh, you getting out? Okay. Okay, we're going to start putting the shit in your okay. food okay. for the next six months. So as soon as you get home and people are celebrating you being at home, next thing you know, a day after you get here, you in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, that, was, uh, no. yeah, that, that potato you ate before you left? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what got you. <laughs> and Russia's known for that. He was like, oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what? I, oh, this is a crazy story. I'm sorry, Brittany Brown. Russia, Russia's got problems. They do. Girl, you got caught at the, she got caught at the wrong time. And by the wrong people. I mean, this is my girl. She fucked up in the worst, worst way, in the worst place, with the worst shit. With the worst, like, literally, she like, her like, her brain must not be functional at all for her to be going into <laughs> Russia with yeah. drugs. Like, you are, a, I'm sorry, but you're a fucking retard to be going into a Russia. A I mean, place. fucking Russia, <laughs> like a country you know you ain't coming back from if you fuck up as an American. They are, they're ready to burn a motherfucker over there. They're like, we ain't gotta get this. This, they no more, no more million dollars a season. They don't care. I, I mean, guess what? We still on this story. Yeah. That's Listen, <laughs> guess what? People, even the, her Russian fans are not saying anything. What are they going to say? It's Russia. Yeah. They might disappear <laughs> during the night. We're saying something. So everybody's like, I'm just going to go ahead and be quiet. <laughs> take those Britney Griner posters off your wall, yep. please. Yeah. Just forget about her. She ain't coming back. Okay, moving on. Moving on.
<laughs> Y'all, it's so slow in the sports section right now. I have to talk about these crazy, crazy, crazy stories. Hey, this is about to happen. Hey, go back inside with that bag. Go back inside. There's, there's a wire going across right there. I see it. Yeah, so just go back inside with that bag real quick until I'm done right here. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. yeah, don't bring it out yet. I'll, I'll come get it in a minute. You know, it's always some new and exciting stuff happening up here in this studio. <laughs> you know what? We got to talk about the D word one day. Dementia, we're going to talk about it one day. But we ain't going to talk about it right now. But one day we will. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, it's so slow in the sports section today. Y'all are man's gossip. Joey Chestnut is chalk champ again in July 4th hot dog eating contest. Now, what is why is this in the sports section? Because <laughs> it's a sport. Eating hot dogs? Eating, yeah. <laughs> eating I mean, is a sport. Look, if they're going to make eating hot dogs a sport, they need to make pole dance in the sport, too. Shit. Frankfurter munching phenomenon Joey Jaws Chetnut put on a pro what? Put a protester in a chokehold while gobbling his way into, uh, into 15... Uh, Who ever wrote this is retarded? Because I can't read. Oh, gobbling his way to a 15th win. You're just reading too fast. Monday at the Nathan's famous 4th of July hot dog eating contest. Powering down 63 hot dogs and buns at the annual exhibi exhibition of excess. Have you ever watched one of those hot dog eating contests before? No, and I won't because, uh, first of all, I don't, want, I, don't, I don't like hot dogs at all, hardly. And why the hell would I want to watch someone stuff them in their freaking face like a Fat slot. Look, let me tell you something. You know what they do with the buns? They have they a wet, cup yeah. of water there yeah, and they wet, dump yeah. it in the water. Oh, it's yeah, so rough. Oh. <laughs> it's like, who was, oh, I mean, oh, my throat just closed up a little bit just thinking about right? that. It's so disgusting. Oh, oh, my. oh my God. In a decisive oh, my ch my. Ch chow down comeback, women's record holder Mickey Sudo uh, down 40 meters and buns to win the women's title. At the skipping match, oh, you know what? <laughs> Listen, you're, I can't even go there. This is a family <laughs> show. You know, I can get like, hey, no family, but <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 I can't even say what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, Next! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, two sets down, Djokovic Joke, wins his 26th consecutive Wimbledon match. Do you know he's a five time champion at Wimbledon? Yeah, I do. He's amazing. And yeah. Nadal only won three times, I think. Nadal is one of my favorite tennis players of all time. I really love his style. I love the fact that he has all of these, uh, you know, he has like a ritual that he does every time before he even plays. You know, he goes like this, and he goes this like that, and he gets his, he does that. You know, you ever seen Nadal play? He does the same thing, and he has like a little ritual every time he, before he serves. He I, have a, I have a lot of better things to do than watch. Female tennis players. Okay, well, anyway, Venus won the Wimbledon four times. Did you know that? Um, yeah, yeah, I knew that. That's pretty amazing. I just found that out yesterday. It says a lot about women tennis oh, okay. players. Yeah, I, I can watch that. No, I do love women's tennis. I can watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I do love watching them run up and down the court and do splits. Something about a tennis skirt. I don't know. Something about a tennis skirt. <laughs> I love tennis skirts too. I love I like tennis period. Oh, yeah, it's one of the most entertaining it's sports. It's adorable. I'm trying to get Phil out of the creep zone. <laughs> He's gonna get out. It says it, it says a lot about uh, Djokovic that a two set to none hole at Wimbledon on a day he was hardly at his best never seemed insurmountable. Not to him. Not to anyone watching, because he's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he's right now. He's, I mean, he, he's been crushing it for a while now. So you know who's gone? Federer. Yeah, mm -hmm. he won yeah. six times, I think. He's won a lot. Yeah. Or oh, four times. I don't know if it's six. I don't think it's six. Four times, times or three yeah. times. But he's he uh he's he was he's, he's amazing. amazing too, yeah. Federer, you can't do anything better. But well, guess what, y'all? That closes out men's gossip. It's so slow in sports right now. It really is. Yeah. 
that people, uh, people, people are talking about it. Right now, it's baseball doing it on TV, so it's real. Oh, real, real oh it's, yeah, it's summertime. Long, 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 long. You gotta wait till the football season people starts. Are, people are hating. I did find it real funny though, because they had a meme out, and it was mm-hmm. like, it was a, a little a little black kid sitting on the couch, and he was like, it said, when you realize baseball is the only sport on TV right now. Oh, yeah, that's it. You got the <laughs> that kid crying. Yeah, no. <laughs> he wasn't crying, but it was just like this little black kid just sitting there like this. So. And I was like, I was like, I was like, that's fucked up. They had to make it a little black kid, you know? You know? You know that's, that's just like. I mean, it's like a little sports fan. <laughs> Even the black <laughs> Moving right along. Guess what, y'all? My favorite show, P Valley, season two, episode five, White Night was the other night. And Phil, when I tell you, this show makes me throw shit at the TV. I promise you. It does. It's one of those shows that you think you know what's gonna happen, and then it goes like completely left. This was Keyshawn's um this story was all about Keyshawn, y'all. This was her backstory. It was really good. Uncle Clifford narrated the whole episode, so they were showing like flashbacks to Keyshawn's life and everything. Listen, y'all, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Because you stand up like, listen, I'm not, but this is the backstory of Keyshawn was real good. I wanna see Uncle Clifford's backstory. <clears throat> Lil Murder and Big Teeth look like they having a good time. They having a real good time. There was two gay scenes in last week's episode. But everybody's only talking about one. Not this week, the last week. And it was uh, Lil Murder and Big Tink and somebody else and somebody else. So ladies, but don't, nobody has this problem with that. And y'all, all I gotta say is that Wody is the MVP of the season so far. I was on Twitter, everybody was like, all of a sudden, Wody is fine now. <laughs> they call him Black King and everything on Twitter now. Cause he did what he had to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Man. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm not. I can't spoil it. I'm way behind. I know you just started yeah, watching. Yeah, it. I'm like I'm. I think I'm still on only like the six episodes or something. Oh, season one. Yeah, season one. Yeah. Yeah. Something I just started watching Stranger Things. I'm still. I'm on episode three, season one. But you know what? Yeah. I think I'm gonna skip to season four and then go back. So yeah, my roommates pissed me off the other day because they were playing season four. And I was, I, I, I came into the room and I was like, oh, and, I, and it was at the end of season four. And I was like, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, because it, it just ended. Son of a bitch. And, and it's uh, like a two part ending, they said. For it, season four. The, the season, yeah, the, the last episode of the, of the season four was like a four hour episode. I know. Like, so I, I think, I think I'm just going to skip to season four just so I can catch, because I noticed that they had a lot of episodes. So I'm like, you no, know, you have to watch it from the beginning. Because you're gonna, you're not gonna understand a ton of it if you don't. You know, okay, you so I have to yeah, just watch from the beginning. Watch from the beginning. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, and it's phenomenal. It's, it's, yeah, Stranger Things is, yeah, they they do a crush a killer job. You know what? Like I said, it's just awesome because it reminds you of the eighties. I know. Of, it's hilarious. I know. And watching them grow up is kind of cool, too. Trapper Keepers. And, oh, yeah, I saw that. I was yeah. like, that's a Trapper Keeper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's that crazy shit. A rotary yeah. phone? Yeah. She's, she was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like, girl, that's a phone on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, see, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, but you know like, what? Technology has come a long way. See, that again, it's like, it, what just reminds you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they're playing cassette. But listen, y'all. <laughs> but listen, though, y'all, for real, though. Watch Free Valley. It really is good. It's a dope show. It really is. It's not, it, there's just so many storylines. Let me tell y'all something. Have you ever watched, have you ever watched any Tyler Perry show? Like, have and have not, no. not to get away with uh, I've never, never been I'm glad you have it. Never been a Tyler Perry fan. Listen, Tyler Perry shows move so slow. It takes them a whole hour to go, what do you want? You know why I'm here. What you know, you know what I want to give you. You got to wait two, you, you got, if it's, a, it's a, if it's a fight in the season, you got to go through eight episodes to finally see the fight. And when you see the fight, you be like, oh, guess what? P-Valley do, is 10 seasons of any Tyler Perry show in one episode, okay? <laughs> Because Tori Hall is doing a damn thing over there. Tyler Perry. That's why Tyler Perry say he write all his shows. Because you ain't putting nothing in them. <laughs> There's nothing. To... 
<laughs> His whole season is one day. Okay, I don't go on long. Okay, anyway. Next story, woman bought a baby, woman bought baby, stash of drugs to Florida prison visit. Why do people keep doing crazy stuff like this, Phil? Why? She's trying to get some drugs in. That's a 44-year-old Florida woman brought her infant grandchild along with a stash of cocaine and heroin to a recent prison visit, officials said. But guards searching their visitors at the DeSoto Correctional Institution on Sunday found nearly 100 grams, almost five ounces of drugs in the jails during a jail check-in process. Now, why would you... <laughs> Because drugs on the inside of her, tons of money. But, I mean, you know you're going to get checked. I mean, they think they can get away with it because it was in the baby's diapers and shit. Wasn't that in the baby's diaper or something? Oh, my God. That's the the baby was turned over to the Florida Department of Children and Family Services. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they think they're not going to search the baby somehow. Like, like, dude, mother, like, you, people are... After all, I'm not even going to tell my story. Why do all of the craziest stories I can tell some after the story. And there's worse, way worse stuff than that. Way worse stuff. I got I got some stories. Let me tell you. You can give us a, a little... Hell no. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, well, bye crazy story. Bye-bye. Y'all, bye, listen. I, I'll, I'll pick this up just for you because I know you're going to find jokes in this for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> but y'all... You mean like the driving gloves? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, yeah. Y'all, Tuesday, July the 6th, is hopefully y'all, a lot of y'all are seeing it on it. That's when it's, Yana. It's, yes, it's National Fried Chicken Day. Fried chicken is a greasy, delicious, indulgent food enjoyed all over the world. But did you know that the ultimate soul food originated in our town backyard with Scottish Scottish chicken frying methods were combined with the West African seasoning traditions. Okay, so what they're saying is that white people was frying chicken without no flavor, and black people put the seasonings on it to create what's now what is now uh, one of the world's favorite guilty pleasures: fried chicken. What you think about that, Phil? I mean, I like I like me some I love me some fried chicken, especially some good fried chicken. But who don't? I mean, obviously, I'm more into the you know, um, the, the hot, you know, the hot stuff now. Oh, you like the like the Tennessee hot? Yeah, the Tennessee hot. Yeah, just because it's you know it's more flavorful now. You know, I got kind of bored with it with the you know the old stuff, but yeah, I mean it's I mean fried chicken is good. I mean in in doses, you know, I don't like it all the time because it's you know it should kill you. I know, but well, this, this is the funny part to me. It says where Scottish chicken frying methods will combine with West African seasoning traditions. I mean, like... West African <laughs> Listen, they're basically admitting right there West, that... that uh, West African? That white people don't season their food. What, what, what were they doing in the East? I mean, I don't know. Well, you know, because most of African Americans come from West Africa. That's why, probably why they say that. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so guess what, y'all? That's the end of the show. Please like, share, and subscribe. And put your flag on at the bottom. Aki Nation. Y'all want to join the Aki Nation? Go ahead and put the... Please put one comment. Each person that watches this video, <laughs> just go to the bottom and say, good job or something. Damn. Hater Nation. Hater... No, I'm not going to call it that. This is Aki Nation, y'all. Guess what, y'all? I'll see y'all next Monday. Peace.